Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 107, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. And we've been exploring the secret tomb, seeing visions of our past, and learning some things thanks to the uh, wonderful chat room that is available on the live stream, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern on Fridays. So, uh... Oh. I forget that I paused it. Let's uh, make our way through the door and see what else we can find in the tomb. Oh, that's not ominous. No, oh, the shady, shadowy figure down the deep, dark hall with the purple, sithy lightning stuff that seems to indicate that we've got another vision coming. No, nothing wrong with that. Um, weren't you back at the ship? for making it this far. Okay, good to see a friendly face here. Yeah, the purpley stuff in the back would argue otherwise. Uh, if you knew of a shortcut to get here, why didn't you tell me? Yeah, that doesn't seem very helpful, so let's just go with Korea. What are you doing here? You've revisited the dark moments of your past, and now you must face the present. Okay, I get it. This is another vision. Yeah, there are very... <laughs> Yeah, there better be some very worthwhile presents for enduring this tomb. I mean, I'm not going to say that I'm not thinking it, but <laughs> I'm ready for whatever this tomb will throw at me. That seems a little overconfident, and that, that might... That, that, what do you mean? Uh, let's, let's go with... Uh, oh, I get it. This is another vision. Your confusion is natural. Hmm. The others and I will help you understand. Yeah. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. What others? We're alone here. Or the others? The others? Eh, fool me once. Get away from her. She's a dark Jedi. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Uh, Atten, where'd you come from? A vision. Uh, why do you say that? No, it's just a vision. <laughs> exactly. Okay, I'll play along. Alright, let's just go with why do you say that. Fairly neutral. Atten, I've had enough of your snide contempt. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's try to play the role of the peacemaker and calm down has never calmed down anybody in the history of ever. Maybe if you're a really high level Jedi and you go and you're going to calm down. But since that doesn't work in the real world, it's probably not going to work in the game either. All right, you should really back down. That's going to seem like siding with her. That's going to seem like siding with him. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I, I think we've already... I think we've already seen by this point in the story that she's not... Uh, she's definitely not light side. She's probably gray? Question mark? All right, so let's try to play the Peacemaker. Despite our differences, we need to work together. Hey. What's the commotion here? Stay out of this, Beodor. This is a personal dispute between Atten and myself. You're threatening Atten with a <laughs> Are you going to tap your chest with a lightsaber? That seems dangerous. No. Uh, can I just say <laughs> uh, Why do I even bother? No, everybody put away your weapons. Okay, whatever he's saying. The yeah, heart bypass, exactly. Challenge me. You sorely underestimate the power of the Force. Uh, Think again, Kreia. Your dark influence will end. Oh, so we get everybody. All arrayed okay. Against me. Will you stand for this? Yeah, decisions, decisions. What they're doing is wrong. I stand with you. My friends are right. You've been manipulating me. I think I'll just stand back and watch. You're all just visions. It doesn't matter what I do. Yeah, I know. It started with a little, you know, a couple of snipey remarks, which has been going on all along. And then, uh, wow, we got the whole crew here. I'm kind of regretting finding everybody before this moment. You know, it'd be nice if there was a couple of empty slots on the crew roster right about now. Uh... Alright, my friends are right. 
you have been manipulating me. No, what they're doing is wrong. No, my friends are right. You of all people would judge me so. Am I not worthy of redemption? <laughs> You're beyond redemption. Prepare to die. Okay, I won't attack you, but I won't stop my companions from doing so either. That that doesn't seem the best way to go. Uh, Alright, you're right. I will defend you so that way you may live to pursue redemption. This is a really great Bonamassa song, Redemption. Alright, so we got everybody here. Oh, okay. So she is not hostile, they are. Well, isn't this going to be interesting? Even though it's not likely to work, let's try the force wave. Let's get some speed, some valor, and a battle meditation on, and then we'll go from there. Light side points gained. <laughs> oh, well that was easy. Okay. Oh, I didn't regenerate my points either. Doggone it. Oh well. One force push and they all fell over. Huh. Isn't that interesting? Alright. Oh, I was hoping the speed would help me get some extra attacks in, but apparently I don't need extra attacks. Uh... Uh, let's see. Yeah, this... This is... look. Let, let's take a look at the map real quick. No, nope, that's not that. Yeah, this looks like the final tomb. Map note. Burial chamber. Dead ahead. Yeah. I didn't mean that pun, but I do kind of like it. Let, let's, go, let's go ahead and do a little savey-savey real quick. That seems prudent. All right. I wonder, will I see a vision first? Hi. Hello, Revan. Many people were wondering where the great Revan disappeared to. Or I thought you turned away from the dark side. It can't be. Why are you here? Well, I've been playing this that since he turned, so let's go ahead and go with that one. But I thought you turned away from the dark side. Oh. So is this going to be all quiet like that? Alright, let's um... Probably won't work, but let's go ahead and go through our same little buff routine. Still got room for healing in those force points. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to do anything to him, but one can hope. Hmm. Might have to put a heal in there even earlier. Oh, never mind. I seem to be, uh... Well, well, that went quick. Uh, oh, I get it. You're not really Revan. You're just another vision. What was all that about? I didn't expect to see you. Why are you here? Let's go with I get it. You're, you're not really Revan. Alright. Fine, then. Let's, uh, can we get a heal in first? Can we get two heals in first? And then we'll do an attack. And, matter of fact, that, uh, hyper battle stimulant would be really nice right about now. And then we'll see what we can do. Thank you for the journal entry. And I'll sprinkle the buffs in between attacks. Oh, oh, he got me. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention to my health. Oh, I'm going to restart from that save. Yeah, no. No. As I said, no. the dark side is very strong here. It tests you, it tests us all. Mm -mm. If you fail that test, 
There may be more tests to come. Mm -mm. Be on your guard. Search the room you are in. You should be able to unlock a passage that leads outside the tomb. Ah, uh, that's a nope. That's a nope. The nope. Load game. From the save. <laughs> yeah, you shall be testing. You're testing my tests. Testing the testing tests. Testity, testity. All right. Then let's get on the hot bar ready. A hyper stimulant. I should have put pop that shield in early on too. All right. And I got to remember that those buffs end when my battle ends with uh, who's gonna call it over there? Nameless dark Jedi person. All right. I thought you turned away from the dark side. I'm still sticking with that. So he's going to send Mr. Uh, soon to die. Let's... Uh, I keep forgetting that it won't let you... You gotta do something to get the cue, and then you can do this. And... Alright. Matter of fact, let's back off on that. Let's get a heal in real quick. Trying to keep that health up. Yeah, let's back up. Pop another health real quick. Actually, let's uh, throw in a med pack. Save those force points. All right. Um, you know what? Instead of just going you or another vision, let's go with what was that all about? Oh. Okay, so this is the conversation that doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's, uh, yeah. Let's back that off. Let's get a heal. Let's get a shield. Let's get a heal. And probably going to need another one before it's out. And then we'll just start alternating heal and attack, heal and attack. did pop that shield, didn't I? You know, let's put another shield in there. Because it doesn't look like it's active at the moment, and I could certainly use a shield that's active. That's better. That's going to hurt a little less. All right. Let's just keep on... Uh, you know what? Let's throw another med pack in there. Oh. Oh. Oh my. Uh, heal, heal, heal. No. Just so long as I can heal more than he attacks for. Yikes. Oh, yeah. Hmm. This is not looking good. Nope. Doggone it. Oh. Oh, I'm not dead yet. Uh, do I have enough health for... Or do I have enough force points for another heal? Yes, I do. Okay. Heal. Heal. Oh, no, 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 no. That looks like it's about to hurt. Oh, that's about to hurt. That's about to hurt. Oh, Okay. Oh, whew. okay. This was a test. Succeeded. I don't know. I feel like this tomb has... <laughs> Thank you. I feel like this tomb has changed me and not for the better. So I'm supposed to learn something from this. I am sick of your counsel. Uh, I'm ready to leave. I don't know. I feel like this has changed me enough for the better. 
you overestimate the power mm. of the tomb. Any change you feel is coming from within yourself. Instinctually, you know your true path. <laughs> Trust in your feelings. Was that a hint? In conquering the many challenges that the future holds trust for your you. feelings. Yeah, trust your feelings. No, don't trust your feelings. All right. Um, what do you know of this future? Surely you have felt what awaits. Events are shaping themselves about you, seeking to draw you into their center. Mm hmm. Greatness is my future. <laughs> oh, wait, no. I'm ready to leave now. Search the room you are in. You should be able to unlock a passage that leads Luke. outside the tomb. Search the room. Search your room, Luke. <laughs> but I need a I need a more British Ben Kenobi kinda. Alright, what's in the ancient sarcophagus? A mummified Ludo Crush. Oh, that's right. That's the Sith Lord that was not in the quadrangle that we landed in. And we got Ludo Crush's armband and Ludo Crush's war sword. Yes, please. All right. So that is what is there. Nice. Is there anything else in here? There is a door. Let's accelerate the healing real quick. What's behind this door? Rubble. Rubble, rubble. With a Mandalorian power shield and some chemicals. Uh, was this tomb breaking bad? <laughs> uh, what else do we got? What's behind this door? Oh, that leads back out to the cave, which I don't want to go until I finish searching. And what's in this footlocker? Concussion rocket. Adrenal stamina. Thermal detonator. A durability implant. I probably could have used that a little while ago. A dueling shield and a poison grenade. Alright, I'll have to go through the loot in a little bit. A Zabrik blaster carbine. Sounds nice. Felinar armor. Power shield, 67 bucks. And a free taco. And a complimentary pimento taco. Oh wait, no, wrong game. Speaking of which, let me go ahead and save right now real quick. That seems smart. Yeah, I remember you and uh, Seth Stryker playing that game a lot. Borderlands 2. <laughs> do, do I start regenerating force points now? I'd really like to start regenerating force points right now. Alright, it does look like that's about to happen. And where'd my crew go? Like, do they all just leave me? Like, oh man, he went into the ominous tomb with the purple lightning that I can't go in. Oh well, we'll wait for him back at the ship. Like, seriously guys. Alright, empty jars. Alright, force points are regenerating, which is good. Looks like, uh, everything is coming up empty again. Yeah, I know, I'm the guy. You got this. It's a mug with a broken handle that says you got this on it. That, that felt about right. I mean, yes, sure, I am the guy, not just with a lightsaber, with a double-bladed saber. In theory, and now that my force points are coming back, I am feeling a little bit safer, you know. All right, uh, two paths diverge in a cave, and I took the one that led back outside. All right. Back to the Valley of the Dark Lords. Nice. Oh. And there's the Beastie Empty. That way lies the Academy, which we have already completed. So I guess the only thing left to do is to hop back on the ship and, uh... and head out of here. I mean, I could try looting all the skeletal corpses that triggers battles that I really don't want to do. 
Um, is Korea going to give me any more? Uh, Here, you can just barely see the Sith archaeologists' efforts oh. to uncover relics of the ancient. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, tell me more, since you didn't tell me the, the first new time. Sith Order sought to progress quickly by finding objects of power. I can only imagine what was lost forever due to the carelessness of these excavators. <laughs> Now the excavation has been almost completely undone by five years of wind and sand. So does Korriban protect its secrets. So it does. Okay. I'm surprised you didn't tell me that the first time, but I, then again, I don't think I walked that close to the skeletal corpse. Look, I mean, we're, we're just one off-key, warbling tune away from the good, the bad, and the ugly right now. No, no more history lessons? No more history lessons. Okay. Um, real quick, because I'm pretty sure, if I remember right, entering the, uh, entering the Ebon Hawk is gonna start triggering next steps. Let's take a quick loot. <laughs> Let's take a quick loot at our look. A look at our loot. Uh, the energy baton, we, we've had a bunch of those. They, they break down into parts very nicely. Ludo Crush's War Sword is a double-bladed sword, which is very nice. Uh, 2 to 16, damage bonus plus 2 dark side. Plus 2 against dark side, or plus 2 if you are dark side? I'll have to look that up. Attack modifier plus one, and it is upgradable, which is good. Uh, I may have to see how many people I have lightsabers for, and if I've got any other dual wielders and not enough double-bladed lightsabers for them, which I'm pretty sure is the case. I might, uh, I might use Ludacrush's war sword instead of the Sith war sword that uh, Atten has been using so far. Although, on Dantooine, I'm reliably informed you don't want to go running around with a lightsaber because the locals aren't too fond of Jedi. I'm not sure entirely what that means, and I'm not sure I entirely want to figure it out. So we'll, we'll see. Alright, so we got a regular lightsaber, we got some double lightsaber. Alright, uh... Ooh. Hmm. Anasi Blaster. It's got some decent damage, maybe. Fully upgradable, always nice. Plus two to attack, even nicer. And it bears the symbol of the Anasi family. Perhaps once belonged to Karth Anasi, a former companion of Revan. Oh. Oh. Uh, when you play Knights of the Old Republic, the first one, uh, Karth is one of your companions. And you play Revan, even though you didn't know it at the beginning. Spoiler alert. Sorry, I think I was supposed to do that in the other way around. Do the spo say spoil alert and then spoil it for you. Sorry. Uh, so I might I might equip that just to just to have that equipped. I don't use blaster pistols on my main character much, but it'd be kind of nice to have. Got a nice blaster rifle, five to twenty-seven damage. Not upgradable though. So I'll have to see if I can get that bowcaster fully upgraded for uh, for for HK. Um, we'll see how that goes. Jedi Master's robe, yeah, pretty much what all the other Jedi Masters are wearing. Uh, silver, yeah, I'm gonna have to go through everybody's armor again and see if I picked up anything that is uh, worth worth passing along, like that fel felinar felinar armor I might give to the handmaiden because right now she's wearing armor that has a defense bonus of either 11 or 12 and a max dex of plus one because I used one of the overlays to give it a max dex of anything at all and uh, that might this might be enough to help and get her an extra slot for the uh, for the armor bonus but I'll, I'll have to check on that probably between streams an absorption visor, defense bonus of one, which is always nice, and knocks out 15% of electrical, 15% of energy, 75% of ion, and 90% of sonic. Ah, that could be good. Ooh, Ludacrush's armband. Restricted to dark side. Okay, never mind. Uh, that is going to be useful to almost nobody.
Because I think the Mandalore is dark side. Uh, the only other dark side person I have is HK, and he can't use armbands at all. So that that might either get put in storage or broken down for parts. Durability. Uh, constitution of plus one is nice. Damage resistance to electrical and energy is always nice, but I don't think that's going to help. Blown out data pad that was useful to the story, but I don't need any more. So a lot of these data pads that I don't need anymore, like that one and that one and that one, uh, I'm going to break down for parts when I get my next little between the streams moment to upgrade. Uh, okay, so this is an energy cell for lightsabers. Damage bonus of plus one ion. And one to eight versus droids. Okay, that could be nice. Goops and plus six to stealth. All right, anybody that I'm gonna put stealth belts on. Okay, that's not bad. All right, let's go ahead and save the game real quick. Are you sure? Oh yes, I am sure. And this is where I'm going to insert a cut for the YouTube videos, but hang tight if you're on the live stream, because I'm going to record one more episode's worth of content. Just give me a second. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And... If you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.